2025 BMW M4 CS First Drive. Is this the best real-world M4 yet? BMW aims for the practical sweet spot by splitting the difference between the M4 Competition and M4 CSL. The 2025 BMW M4 CS is pitched as a sharper, punchier car than the regular M4 Competition, but one that's not as edgy and extreme as the Trackrat M4 CSL. And the folks at BMW M GmbH appear to have nailed their brief. After a session hotlapping the new M4 CS at the fast Salzburg Ring track in Austria, the 2025 BMW M4 CS is, at first acquaintance, the pick of today's M3 M4 lineup, a modern M coupe with echoes of the agility and precision and everyday usability of the storied 3.2-liter E36 M3. Of course, by old M3 coupe standards, the M4 CS is heavy, tipping the scales at a fraction more than 3,900 pounds. And it's mind-meltingly complex, from the twin-turbo 3.0-liter straight-six under its hood to its multi-mode M Steptronic 8-speed automatic transmission, to its M X-Drive variable all-wheel drive system and active rear differential. But there's a clarity to the 2025 BMW M4 CS steering and turn-in response that's been missing from some recent M cars. Part of that's down to a suspension package retuned specifically for the new M4 CS, with new shock, auxiliary spring, and anti-roll settings, and increased negative camber at the front axle. And part is because the M4 CS comes standard with grippy Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, 275-35S on 19-inch wheels at the front and 285-30S on 20 inches at the rear. You may also order the M4 CS with even stickier Cup 2 rupees. They're worth the money if you're serious about chasing tenths of a second at a track day. M engineers found the Cup 2R, Equipped M4 CS was 4 seconds quicker around the 12.9-mile Nürburgring Nordschleife in testing than the M3 CS sedan on Cup 2s. As the coupe weighs just 11 pounds less than the sedan, that performance improvement is pretty much all thanks to the Cup 2 rupees. On the standard Cup 2s, which are the best road tire option, the M4 CS front end responds to the slightest steering inputs with millimetric precision. For our track sessions, Cars were fitted with a cup 2 rupees, which combined that precision with near race slick levels of grip. They were also fitted with optional carbon ceramic brakes. Thus equipped, the 2025 BMW M4 CS felt agile and alive yet utterly imperturbable be it under full commando braking for more than 150 miles per hour or being bounced off the curbs through the Salzburgerings tight chicanes or balanced on the throttle through long, looping curves. All of that track capability is overlaid with a veneer of comfort that, in the default comfort settings for engine, suspension, transmission, steering, and brakes, makes it a top-end M car you easily could live with as a daily driver. We've covered the technical upgrades compared with the M4 competition in detail here, but let's recap some of the highlights. The M4 CS Twin Turbo 3.0-liter S58 inline-6 makes 543 horsepower at 6,250 rpm, 20 horses more than an M4 competition spec. The improvement is courtesy of increased boost pressure and revisions to the engine management system. Peak torque of 479 lbfd is available from 2,750 rpm to 5,950 rpm. BMW estimates a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of 3.2 seconds, but our testing of the M3 competition sedan suggests it could easily be a couple of tenths quicker. BMW claims a 0 to 124 miles per hour acceleration time of 11.1 seconds. U.S. market M4 CS models will come standard with a BMW M driver's package, which enables an electronically limited but higher top speed of 188 miles per hour. The standard carbon fiber roof, hood, front splitter, front air intakes, exterior mirror caps, rear diffuser, and rear spoiler, plus the standard M carbon seats and the titanium muffler mean the M4 CS is 45 pounds lighter than the M4 competition. Standard equipment also includes the M-Drive Professional System, which includes track-focused functions such as the M-Drift Analyzer, 
the M-Lap Timer, and M Traction Control, which offers drivers 10 levels of traction control. Two BMW individual paint finishes are available from launch. Riviera Blue and Frozen Isle of Man Green Metallic, along with Brooklyn Gray Metallic and Black Sapphire Metallic. The M4 CS paint scheme includes exposed carbon fiber surfaces on the roof and within the two channels that run the length of the hood. The frameless kidney grille features red contour lines and M4 CS badging on the upper of the two horizontal grille bars. Inside, BMW's curved display features M-specific graphics on the 12.3-inch digital instrument panel and the 14.9-inch central control display. The M carbon bucket seats, trimmed in black and red leather, are power-adjustable and heated and feature integral head restraints and illuminated M4 CS badges. The seat's high side bolsters make them tricky to get into and out of if you don't have the athletic, or at least notably slim, build of a pro race driver, and the carbon fiber bulge in the center of the seat bottom is annoying if you left foot brake, but the seats are otherwise comfortable and supportive. The three-spoke steering wheel is trimmed in grippy Alcantara, with a red stripe at the 12 o'clock position to help you keep track of where the front wheels are pointing when you get all arms and elbows through a quick set of corners. It looks the part but isn't great to use. The rim section is so fat, it makes you feel like you're driving the M4 CS wearing boxing gloves. Given the obvious improvement in the car's front-end sensitivity, you want to be able to steer it with your fingertips. The 2025 BMW M4 CS is the sweet spot M4. You get added performance and enhanced dynamic precision compared with the M4 competition, without compromising that car's everyday usability. M4 CS production begins in July, and the car will be priced from $124,675 when it arrives in the U.S.